Yeah, happy Thursday, July 22nd. If you're watching this, this is for today's tarot meditation. Oh, I had a couple of cards fly out, so hold on. So may this resonate with you whenever you do watch it. This is the message and the medicine that we should be receiving. And the medicine is the page of cups. And um, the page of cups is energy resides in the realm of the calm. It resides in the realm of being able to position yourself in a space, at a space of receiving, of being able to receive. This is quite a watery card energetically. What I mean by that is it teaches us to surrender and to flow but it's also very much diving in the realms of the unknown diving in the realms of the elusive the intangible spirit realm what have you while also being practical and grounded and letting you know you need to live your best life um how can i put this in a way that you can understand a little bit better when we receive the page of cups we are prompted to prepare for unexpected gifts to end up on our lap these gifts can be anything from an actual physical present a gift somebody leaving you something you finding something along the way um, diving into your old purses, your old clothes, and realizing, oh my God, I, I found 20 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever. Someone randomly recommends a book to you. You're reading it and realizing it's a blessing. You needed that book. You needed that gift at that moment. Could be someone who surprises you, a loved one, a family member, a lover. Okay, and so it is saying... Um, be open to receive. You are worthy. You are worthy of blessings. Let, let us never forget that amongst the chaos, amongst the trauma, amongst us just merely trying to survive day to day and just being overwhelmed with life and responsibilities and what's going on and emotions and navigating all of that, that we should still be holding a space and a place for hope a place for miracles to potentially occur, a place for possibilities to happen that shift our lives in a very positive way, in a positive direction. We should still be making space and holding space for romance and magic and mystery and, um, you know, the unknown blessing us in the most unimaginable positive ways. A lot of this energy is very whimsical. It's very kind of, um, let's go on a date and not think about, not overanalyze it. Let's, let's do something fun. Let's really indulge in catering to our emotions and taking care of ourselves and really, um, savoring life because it's the only one that we've got. And we don't know what tomorrow has to bring. There's this childlike wonder in the page of cups and also a playful energy that reminds us of what is important, what we should be prioritizing for ourselves as we also simultaneously go through life, go through the realities of life. We don't always have to be brought down. We don't always have to face things so intensely. We can make space for those glorious times, those glorious energies that can uplift us, that can renew us. This card is about renewal. This card is about will you take that cup and will you drink of it so that you are filled up and then you can handle the rest of the things that are going on in your life from a space of abundance, from a space of, of being nurtured and nourished and not depleted, right? So this energy, it's two things. One, it's asking you to question where do your priorities lie when it comes to yourself personally, your self-care, you know, what does your self-care routine look like? <laughs> what is it that your heart is longing for and desiring for you to take a step and, and grab it and say, I deserve this, I want to do this, I'm buying this for myself, I'm taking myself out or I'm saying yes to this opportunity. 
I'm, I'm putting myself out there romantically or I'm, I'm really diving in intimately into my uh, partnerships, relationships, and I'm letting them see the real me, the raw me, all right? That's one aspect. Um, another can absolutely be this energy of... Well, I lost my train of thought for the second one. But what I'm getting right now is that um, Spirit is, is also saying that if you guys have been asking for things, if you've been wishing for things, if you have been wondering what the answer for certain things are, um, Page of Cups could be coming to you as a solution. It could be coming to you to answer your questions. This could be in the form of a person, right? It can also be in the form of you know, we, we, we shouldn't just, um, we shouldn't just box in the idea of where, how these answers are going to come to us in what form, because they can come in a myriad of forms. So it could be in a person, it could be something you watch on TV, it could be something that you read. It could be a dream that you receive. It could be a thought that you think that clicks in. Okay. So be on the lookout for that because I, when I pick up this card personally and I read a client, I tend to get, you know, that spirit has been trying to reach out to this client, whether it be an ancestor, whether it be a spirit guide, spirit's been trying to put things right in front of this client's face to, to give them what they need. And it's up to the client as to whether or not they're seeing it for themselves or they're not really focused on that wavelength. Um, they're kind of like, on this autopilot mindset of other things that are going on other than what spirit's trying to grab their attention for. So pay attention, all right? Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to what's happening emotionally. This is an excellent time to live your best life, to go to the beach, to go on a date, to invite somebody out on a date, to um, go buy yourself some wine and cater to yourself. Go play some music, go live, go be free, right? All of that stuff. This is a very sweet card. It would talk about the sweetness of life. We talk about the pleasures of life. And you just don't have to wait until, you know, some major milestone is achieved for you to enjoy the richness of what your life has to offer in any shape or form. I mean, that could be someone closing down on um, a sofa and reading their favorite novel. That could be something sweet, enriching, and rewarding. It could be you planning a vacation. It could be you visiting family. It could be you taking a trip to the river and bathing yourself in the waters and just relaxing. It could be you smoking something. It could be all types of things, right? So again, where do your priorities lie when it comes to self-care? What are you doing to position yourself to receive? And what are some blockages that you have going on that don't allow you to receive? Oh, I'm not worthy of this. I'm not worthy of this person's affection. No, oh, I'm not ready. I don't look good enough. I'm not, you know, I haven't lost the weight. I'm not in shape. I am not making this amount of money. I'm still not over this trauma. There's these things that are coming up now because spirit wants to to be able to address it, to be able to to recognize where you're blocking your own blessings so that you are in a position to win when these new blessings come along, when these new people, I also get a feeling that this may be new people entering your life, um, a new community, people who want to see the best for you, who want to see you win, who are genuinely, truthfully, right or die people, um, that you deserve on your court. So what are you doing to block that shit? Like stop <laughs> blocking it. Basically the page of cups is that good, good card that wants you eat, eat, wants you to eat that piece of pie and really enjoy every moment. So I hope this resonates with you. And also know that you can also be a vessel of sweetness to another person, pass it forward, whether it be a compliment, a hug, some quality time or just even your attention that can go a long way.